Meditating on the passion has benefited my faith more than anything else, except for the sacraments, of course. And I'll go into the how later, but why should we meditate on the passion? Well, because it's the greatest example of the love Christ has for us. Jesus said himself, there's no greater love than to lay down one's life for a friend. And he did that for us, but he didn't do it in any ordinary way. Have you ever wondered why Christ came when he did? Well, he knew that the Romans were experts in torture. And as a result, he would die the most gruesome death possible to show the great love that he has for us. So if you've never seen The Passion of the Christ, you've got to check it out. It's like the greatest depiction of the passion. So powerful. And if you're Catholic and you have seen it, check out this uh, rosary meditation that I did with clips from The Passion. If you're not Catholic and don't want to watch the two-hour video, but you should because it's amazing, there's a three-minute video we're going to be putting up on this song, Pia Yezu, that Anne-Marie sang. And it's very beautiful, but that's just a glimpse of the torture that Christ went through during his passion. So how has this benefited me? It has allowed me to detach from things. You know, so say, uh, you know, there are times that I felt alone, you know. I could think about the passion of Christ when Jesus was alone in the garden. And he was praying and he had his closest friends there and they couldn't even stay awake for him. Or, you know, say someone said something bad about me or I, I got humiliated. Jesus was being mocked by the soldiers and having a crown of thorns put on his head. Imagine that mockery. Or, you know, say, you know, you're walking in your house and you stub your toe. Everyone loves that, right? Imagine having your feet nailed to a cross. Or a paper cut, right? Your hands. Well, I guess it was actually like right here, being nailed to the cross. Oh my gosh, that is probably the worst part of the, the meditations that, that are in the rosary. It's just to see him writhing in pain is just unbelievable. So when we look at the little crosses that we take up, it's nothing in comparison to Christ. And we're made to imitate him. So all of the psychological, physical torture that he went through, we may have to partake in so that we can be like him and be a witness to the world. Because a lot of people, you know, when suffering comes into their life, they don't know what to do with it. But we are blessed as Christians to have the greatest model, Jesus, who would literally conquer death for us. So it's amazing to meditate on the passion and to realize that what's going on now might seem big, but nothing is bigger than God. And something I did want to mention, being a new father, uh, this has been a perfect one. Waking up in the middle of the night to, uh, you know, get the boys and, you know, have them be fed by Anne Marie and stuff like that. That is really, it's every night at like, 3 to 5 a.m., somewhere in between then. And there's twins, so you have to go twice. Uh, you can't really get them both now. It's kind of hard. Um, <laughs> but early on, I, I realized that, oh my gosh, this is just taking up my cross, you know, that I'm tired and I'm getting up, but Jesus was also tired. We don't realize that Jesus didn't sleep much before he was crucified. You know, when you're fasting, you can relate to Jesus eating nothing from the Last Supper on that whole day, you know? It's, uh, gosh, there's so much with the passion that you can meditate upon. And I really hope that uh, this video will help spark your interest and allow you to see the incomprehensible love that God has for you. So hope you have a blessed day and God love you.